Today we have our first unboxing ever. Just got this package from a company called NoCal. I've actually never heard of them before, but they reached out to me a few weeks ago off on Instagram. They wanted to send me some stuff. So I believe they're like a food company dealing with like uh, protein bars, things like that. So we're gonna open this box up, see what we got inside. So walked in the door and saw a package for me. Just came today from a company called No Cow. And uh, we're gonna open this up. So pretty clean packaging, no cow, no bowl, no way. So I think their basis is like uh, protein products, but without using dairy or whey. So let's open this up and see what they got inside. Lots of goodies. Let's see. So it looks like they make Things like fluff butter, protein bars, and protein cookies. And they left me a nice little note on the back. Hmm. Let's see. Got a little sticker, no cow sticker. This is a no cow protein cookie. Double chocolate, 12 grams of protein non-dairy, and one gram of sugar. So gluten-free, non-GMO, vegan, non-dairy, no sugar added, so soy-free. So each cookie is 240 calories. Let's see. 16 grams of fat, 19 grams of carbs, and 12 grams of protein. So that's pretty cool. They also gave me, let's see, a carrot cake protein bar. 22 grams of protein in it, 200 calories. For a bar, five grams of fat, 24 grams of carbs. 18 of that is fiber, so it actually only has really, really little sugar. Um, 22 grams of protein. And carrot cake actually sounds pretty good. Um, there's actually, there's not really a lot of ingredients. I, I don't know if you guys can focus on on that, but there's not a lot of ingredients, which is always a good sign for foods. And then they sent me another bar. This is chunky peanut butter. And uh, again, not a lot of ingredients, 21 grams of protein, about the same calories, 210. Um, but sound like pretty good flavors, chunky peanut butter and a carrot cake. And it looks like they also sent me this really nice water bottle, actually. Um, it looks like it's an insulated water bottle. 17 ounce double wall vacuum bottle with threaded insulated lid. Could keep anything hot for 12 hours, can keep anything cold for 24 hours. It's actually really nice. I was not expecting this at all. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, two protein bars, a protein cookie. Nice little note from Lauren. So thank you, Lauren. And a nice water bottle. I'm gonna open up this water bottle. What I do like about this is um, it says it can do hot and cold. Meanwhile, this is the blender bottle I got from Blender Bottle a few weeks ago. And while this is great, this holds or this only does cold. You actually can't put hot liquids in here. Um, this does hold about 24 ounces. Meanwhile, this only holds about 17 ounces. But what I might use this for is my coffee. Uh, it's got a nice little no cal label on it. Um, seems durable, stainless steel. Little, uh, instructions here, but yeah, I do like how this can 
do hot or cold beverages. So I might use this for coffee and iced coffee, things like that. Um, and then I put my protein, protein coffee powder into that. So it's actually a really, really good combination. So looking forward to using this. All right, just got done. 90 minute workout. Took Erica's pre birthday 90 minute. Going to have this no cow uh, protein bar. 200, 210 calories, 21 grams of protein. Let's see how it is. First impressions, it looks really appetizing. Uh, looks pretty good. Mm. So, it actually is, is pretty good. Um, I'm giving an honest review. The, uh, it's definitely peanut butter flavor. I definitely like that. The texture, so if you see when I bite it, kind of just rips off. So it's not like the texture of Quest Bar, it's more so like sticky. This is more of a, a chalky, a chalky kind of texture, which I don't mind. Um, but yeah, this is pretty good. I don't know where I could buy these, but depending on how much they are, I could see myself buying it. But um, I always like to try new things. I love um, optimal nutrition cake bites. So it does have chunks of peanut in it, or what I think is peanut. So that's actually pretty good. It does kind of have that milky, not milky, but almost kind of melts in your mouth, which is nice. Definitely taste the peanut butter in here. I kind of got tired of Quest bars, just because the texture eventually got to me. It was just like, I don't know. But, this is pretty nice. So, taste, great. Texture, like chalky, but I don't mind that. Kind of melts in your mouth. So I think that's good. The really peanut buttery chunks of peanut which is nice you know when did you ever have that when you you're eating something really sweet and the first few bites are like oh yes I really love this like this tastes so good and as you eat it more you get towards the end you get towards the end you're like oh this is starting to get heavy I don't know if I can finish it I've had that with protein bars before um, but this one I got it a little bit towards the end the last couple bites weren't as satisfying I guess as the first few just because it got sweet and sweet but I think it was good it wasn't it wasn't like overwhelmingly I was able to finish the bar and I don't feel like Ugh. but yeah I'm impressed so I still have a cookie to try it's like a double chocolate chunk cookie and I have another protein bar that is a carrot cake flavor so I'm actually looking more forward to that one. But shout out to NoCal for reaching out to me and sending me some free stuff. It was actually really, really good. Um, I really, really appreciate it. I didn't hear about this. I didn't know about this company, honestly, beforehand. But I'm glad they kind of reached out. You can follow them on Instagram. Their uh, name or their username is at NoCal. And again, they're a company that kind of sells like non-dairy, vegan, non-GMO protein products. So um, yeah, I don't know where they sell them, but check them out on Instagram. See if you can pick up something, try it out yourself. I think the, at least the peanut butter one, chunky peanut butter, that was pretty good. And I used the water bottle today, so that was awesome. So thank you, NoCal. Gonna end the video here. Appreciate you guys tuning in. My first honest review, feedback. It was, uh, it was actually really cool to do. But hopefully this was a nice change from the other vlogs. Thanks again for watching. We'll love some feedback. 
follow me on social media, Instagram, hit that subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 100 subscri subscribers. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.